Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We're still on Aya after we, uh, well, we took out that cat facility. Well, not completely took out. We left it standing so we could uh, save as many Angara as we could. Uh, but now it's actually the first time we can actually walk around freely on Aya. I'm just going to take advantage of that and look around for a few side quests. Trade? Trade. Trade. Are you asking or telling? I'm wondering. Do you exchange goods and services? How does your economy work? Um, it doesn't. <laughs> we use money. We pay for things with a currency called credits. Abstract wealth. The cat offered gifts. Made odd bargains. Never traded. What are your credits worth? What can we do with them? You pay them to us for whatever we're selling. Now we cut open the heart. What do you offer? That's negotiable. I don't know. Uh, what do you want? Your ship. <laughs> Not for sale. Worth a try. Indeed. Is there something else I can do for you? Yes. Call me Soka. I run cargo between Aya and other worlds. Good work. Good at it. You're here to help my people. Prove it. I need help. One of my suppliers off-world stopped checking in. Has things I need. Hmm. There could be trouble. Why me and not anybody else from the Angara? What makes you think I can help? You found Aya, maybe you find my supplier. Can't hurt to ask. Okay. Um, gonna need more details. We might have different definitions of trouble. What do you mean? Natural hazards, wild predators, misadventure, what do you mean? Same thing. What's your supplier carrying exactly? Supplies I need, exactly. Things to keep my people alive. Essentials. You have a ship? I have my supplier's nav point. His name is Keldo. Find him, his supplies. Come back and prove you're helpful. Then maybe we trade. That sounded really, really suspicious. Search Soka's nav point on Vult for the missing supplier. Okay, that's another side quest. Um, I know I could take the shuttle to the Aya Vault, and we're going to do that in just a second. Let's quickly going to look around if I can actually check anything. Ooh. Oh, that gave me a few points. Anything else? Doesn't seem like it immediately. So let's go back down and head towards that other shuttle. Because that's the shuttle that's going to bring us to the Vault, and hopefully... Uh, make uh, Aya a bit more livable because right now this place is on the only oasis on the planet if I'm not mistaken and the rest of the planet is kind of a volcanic wasteland so here we go oh they almost look like hovercrafts Zoom. okay that went fast I didn't cut out anything, that was just a straight teleport to the vault. I haven't brought anyone here in over 20 years. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Okay. See what we can do, Sam? Okay. You know what happens when you activate one of these, right? What the hell? Yes, this is new. Is it similar to the vault on Eos? Tell me, what are you seeing? What is Sarah touching over there? Um, something amazing. If I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing, I've got goosebumps. Tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However, they're not connected to each other, but to this place. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. Meridian. And it looks like Aya's vault. As in Horizon Only Zero Dawn. Fully connected to it. And it's terraforming, doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? So, the Moshe is a professor. Is the control center for all the vaults. I think we can agree on that point. This discovery might just change everything. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. 
Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where, Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people and mine. Okay. Um. We'll fight for everyone, including the Angara. No one is safe as long as he's on this hunt. I'm going to shut it down. For all our sakes. That sounded good, I think. Is there anything else we can do with the vault on Aya here then? You're going to need that relic I saw. The Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there. Why are we not activating this thing? Same way we did with the other vaults. Okay then, because this planet might have some use for uh, an atmosphere processor. Okay, never mind. That's, uh, that was stupid. I just spawned back here. Didn't even get a chance to explore the vault. Uh, there's a lot of uh, icons here, by the way. Fast travel station. Huh. No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk around because that's more effective, I think, to see where everything is. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Holographic message terminal. I have bulletin board. And then wanted engineer. Looking for a level 7 start ship engineer. Nothing I can do. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, what did that just say on my screen? It sounded like we found another memory fragment. Hello? Doesn't seem like we can check anything out here. There's a data pad. Translated from Shalesh, my love, I never planned to leave. Each moment I spent with you only brought me joy, even though you've never understood what you meant mean to me. There were moments I could have shown you how I really feel, but I wasn't brave enough. Not that you could have accepted me, now I have to go, and I don't think I'm coming back. I hope for a day when we owe nothing to anyone. I dream of a moment when we find each other again and claim the lives we always should have led. Okay then. Anything else here? Because this seems to be the door that leads back outside, yeah. Not really anything there. And a research center. Don't really have any use for that at the moment. So let's go back into this hallway, I think. It's supposed to be a hallway. Ooh, are those lights? Those look fancy. A lot of Angara. This place is beautiful. Oh, what's that? Angara irrigation unit. Cool. This place stand. Memorial garden dedication. We rose from nothing to touch the stars, made homes on many worlds. Do not mourn what the cat stole from us, celebrate what still remains. All things reach their end and make way for new life to fill the void. The worlds and people we lose will return in time. Family grows forever. We dedicate this garden to those who are not here with us, but who will one day return. This place is for them. But look at this planet, it sure could use a bit of vaulting, a bit of a remnant vault. Are those fire tornadoes? That looks awful. Horrible, but anything else here? Don't ooh, marketplace, fast travel unlocked. Pathfinder. This woman needs my help, apparently. I never thought I'd see the Moshai again. Least of all thanks to you. Welcome to the marketplace. I am Arbiter Renarv. I enforce correct contact between merchants and customers, resolving any disputes. Huh. As the first outsider to enter the city, you are ignorant of our laws. We should change that. Okay. Who decides what happens to people who break the law? It depends on the grievance. I settle minor offenses right here. More serious ones require a tribunal. Okay, and what are the laws exactly? 
Where I'm from, the biggest trade lie is don't cheat. Is it different here? I suspect we define cheating differently. What is unfair changes based on perspective. Yes, that's fair enough. I don't want to cause any trouble. How do I learn your laws? I'll transmit a full readout. Familiarize yourself with the contents. Personal responsibility is a core foundation of our society. We expect it from everyone. Understood. Please visit my colleagues in the governor's office and the resistance headquarters. They'll teach you about our culture and what it means to walk freely among us. Your understanding is critical. It would be unfortunate if you accidentally violated our laws. Yeah, you do have a point and I think I'm going to do that first time. Because that might be handy to know um, all about. Because we already had a positive uh, exchange with Evra because we knew what to say. Because we knew the Angara are more positive towards AI. So I'm just going to check out these guys and maybe they can help us out in uh, later conversations with these people. So hello Arbiter Omdal. Omdal? I'm going to have to do that in front apparently. Arbiter Omdal. Hello. Okay. Arbiter Renav told me to expect you. I prepared a data pad detailing our laws. Read it fully. Oh god, okay. As defined by the first founders of Aya, this world and all who live on it agree to abide by the laws, customs and regulations of a civilized society that has existed for centuries on other worlds. These rules of conduct ensure a voice for each family within our society and gives them certain invi inviolable rights. Page 1 of 5983. Okay. Um, just going to check out this guy then as well. Pathfinder. No. Enro Bosan, assistant to the governor. As you can imagine, your arrival raised concerns from Aya's people. Um, even after what I've done? I thought I'd proven they have nothing to worry about. You are one person. They want the Nexus to hear our voices. We've set up terminals in the city so people can leave messages for your people on the Nexus. I'd appreciate if you take a look and forward their communications to your people. Sounds like a plan. Wow, collect messages from all those things. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because we need to talk to Arbiter Vragen. Which is actually very interesting because Vragen is the Dutch word for asking. So asking questions. Huh. Where are we going? Okay. We're getting closer, so... Look at this place. This place is gorgeous. It still is. So the Arbiter seems to be inside of that building over here. Resistance headquarters. Okay. Sounds really cool. Anything I can scan? Nope. Let's just talk to Arbiter Vragen. Okay. Another data pad. I prepared a data pad on our laws regarding war. Learn them. Is that going to be uh, thousands of pages? Though we face an enemy that will not stop until our entire civilization ceases to exist, it's important we not abandon the principles of basic morality. The cat must be defeated, but not at any cost. It won't matter if our future generations can live without fear of death or enslavement if that freedom was achieved through genocide or other barbaric crimes. 241 pages. I'm not going to read all that, but that gave us a bit of experience points. Points, which is of course very good. Um, now I'm just gonna get our quest back, so we need to talk to Evra, which is actually very funny because we needed to meet him at Resistance Jade's Q, and that's exactly where we are. I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. It's an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. What are they talking about? Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. We know what? Talk to I us. I could have kept Sam to myself, you know. This is different, not your business. Yeah, same with it the AI. Now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell her the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. Okay, what is going on? The Ket taker, a resistance commander named Venterev. Um. He must have had a motive. Yeah, why would he do such a thing? The Archon wanted her knowledge of Remnant Tech. 
But why would Ven betray her? I don't know. That's why I kept it quiet. I'm working to capture him, make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadara Port. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles from your galaxy. Oh. Ven may know how to find the Archon and his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. What is this port all about? I'm a little new to the galaxy. Where did Ven go exactly? Kadara Port is a trading outpost. We abandoned it when the Ket invaded. Some of us went back. Deserters, scavengers. They don't support Aya. How did exiles from the Nexus wind up there? Bad luck for everyone. Okay, I'll go to Kadara. I need the relic that leads to Meridian and I can handle my people. Let me do this. I don't like it. I don't care. The Pathfinder is right. I'll transmit my files on Kadara port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done. Yeah, because you guys certainly have a lot to talk about. You have reached level 17. Um, five skill points again, which is really, really nice. Hunting the Archon complete, and now we need to go to Kadara port in the Govorkam system. Which sounds lovely. Um, can I actually use this thing? Recruitment efforts Kadara port. Things are as bad as we thought. The deserters don't care about anyone but themselves. Recruitment of efforts have found zero traction. Ironically, we've had better luck gaining support from the new aliens. A small group pledged to support the resistance and alert us to future cat activities on Kadara. It seems unlikely the enemy would give up on the planet so easily, but maybe the presence of these new aliens has confused them. Regardless, I recommend we abandon recruitment efforts and instead focus on infiltration of the local population using deep cover agents. I'll submit a list of candidates in my next report. And then the casualty report from Vault. Severe whiteout conditions have made casualty confirmations difficult. Expect these numbers to be adjusted in the next update. Okay, don't really need to go through that. And then people are getting nervous. Commander de Tershav, no one questions your thinking. And we all understand that the circumstances we're facing are unprecedented. However, you should know that people are talking in the barracks about these new Nexus aliens. Setting aside how they look, smell and behave, how can we be expected to trust these things with access to our most secure world? On behalf of my unit, we submit that this so-called Pathfinder crew shouldn't be permitted to roam the city without an escort. We're keeping close watch on them, don't worry, we're not letting them see us. But it would be easier if we could assign a guard to each visitor when they're on Aya. We hope you'll consider this option. Volr. Huh. That sounds like somebody I need to talk to. Actually scan anything in here? Ooh. There we go. Ephra's command console. Anything else I need to scan? Nope. Okay then. Um, I also have that loyalty quest for Jal, which I think I'm gonna do first. Which might be a good idea. So if nothing else happens, I'll see you guys back at the Tempest. And we'll uh, work our way back from there. Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is a surprise. What are their expectations? Why is that a surprise? Um, show them respect, you asshole. They survived the Scourge and the Cat and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. Okay, be careful when you do that. So we're back on the, uh, on the Tempest. Um, and we need to head towards our next planet, because we're actually going to a planet we haven't been to yet. Because both Jal and Vetra's uh, loyalty missions start at Havaral. And I apparently have new... Ooh. PB the museum trip. I only wish we could have saved more. Okay. So let's check the email from PB. Ay ay ay. Okay, so the Angara have a place they call the Repository of History, I know, sounds super dull. They need someone with more of a flair for naming things, huh? Next time you're around running you're running around Aya, come see me there, will ya? Okay. So let's acknowledge that. Poker awaits from Gil, that's also his loyalty mission, if I'm not mistaken. And a message from Volt Intel on the cat. 
My name is Rylis, I serve the Angaran Resistance. Some of our scouts have returned with interesting information about the cat that I'm certain will intrigue you. I will wait for you on Vult, please come soon, okay? You don't know me, but the words, word is you're looking for our Ark, the Lucenia. Is that true? The Nexus leadership's been so tied up with the station, it's like everyone forgot about her. Please don't give up, my foster sisters were on the Lucenia. I've watched for them every day. If they're really out there and not lost in dark space, please bring them home. Praying for you and the people I love. NTL. Nitola Tlien. Communication from Jal. A manifest of the items he brought with his himself. More communication from Jal. The Moshe sent some news from Aya that she asked me to share with you. Under her garden guidance, Officials are again allowing study in the Aya Vault. It comes at great risk, of course, so she's restricting participation to her brightest students under armed guard. Although she doesn't have your ability to interface with the Remnant, she wants to be ready to assist you however she can once Meridian is found. Okay, that's pretty much all the emails. I don't want to check up with Gil. I'm just going to head towards uh, Havarl immediately. So, uh, here we go. This Ancestors came from this system, from Havar. It looks so small from here. Well, thanks for that information. Anomaly on sensors. Havarl. I'm just going to quickly check out that anomaly. Usually, give me uh, a few resources that might be interesting. So let's check out the meteor. It's moving at a rather slow pace, apparently, and we got some platinum from that. Which we might be able to use to craft another weapon. So let's head to Havarl. There we go. Do we need to scan? Yeah, we need to scan for the uh, landing zone. There we go. Sending the nav point for Darpalev. That's where the Moshe's team should be. Okay, so there we go. A varl. It used to be an Angaran town. There'll be landing pads and good sight lines for a safe approach. Anomaly on the sensors. Something big, possibly hostile, taking evasive action. Okay. That's not good. Wait, I don't think it's... Are those mountains? Those are pretty big mountains, and what are those? Animals? Wow. They look cool. And Suvi likes well, it. That's something you don't see back home. Flying squid manatees. Okay then, and a lovely sky. Bringing us in. So a rainforest type of planet, it looks like. Lush forests, crazy animals. This is gonna be fun. There we go. Setting foot. Wow. Look at this place. This definitely is the most, well, the fanciest planet we've seen so far. I'm, I'm actually dumbfounded at the moment. So I took Vetra and Jal, Jal because of his loyalty I mission, Vetra because beautiful. of hers. This blows it away. Yeah, indeed. It is beautiful, but the wilds can also be deadly. Yeah, because I already see red markers over there somewhere. But uh, let's see how close we can get without getting our asses kicked. There we go. Seems like this is uh, an outpost already. An Angara outpost. Because there's uh, Angara walking around here. And there's two... Well, forward station symbols around here. There's something inside. Oh, there we go. Protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Apparently that's not a problem for the Angara here. That poor man almost got squished. But there we go. Acquire two Andromeda viability points. Havarl viability increased by 2%. 
Then we have... Oh, we need to go over there. Just gonna quickly check out the map. How far away is that? That's not actually that far, because we started over there. And Jal's quest is over there. So let's go without the Nomad for now. Ow! 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 Animals! Crazy animals! Okay. There's probably about two more. Did I scan it? Don't know if I had the chance to scan it because it just disappeared. Uh, soft chitin. Chitin. Okay, I never know how to pronounce that word for some reason. Seems to be... Ooh, is that? Seems to be more stuff here. There we go. Nickel. Thanks for that. What was that over there? She's our best lead to finding Axul. Think she'll talk to us? It'll take some convincing, but I think so. So there's three observers over there. I'm just gonna level up first, and then we'll deal with those things. There we go. Okay, so these things are hostile, clearly. Oh, I do need to be careful. And then the assembler. There we go. Teamwork. Done and done. Okay. So let's head a bit deeper. Oh, is that? Those are cats. Those are definitely cats. Cat! Protect Soldier! Damn it. And I died. Great. Why are you not dying? And I don't have any cover in this place for some reason. Let's just let those guys do the work. Oh shit! All right, now I'm pissed. Okay, so we did kill the cat this time. Yeah, take it easy, take it easy, Riley. So let's take the loot because they did drop a few things. Cat sealant, and then let's take a bit more ammo. I think we've seen one of those, right? Those are the heating thingies. Let's take the health. Because I'm all out. Ooh, that took three. Three entire bars from that thing. Um, so yeah, there's more of those. Solar heater. Why would you need a solar heater in this place? 100 helius research. Which is good. And then let's, uh, let's take out Remy. And override Locked. the door. Override it. There we go. Don't come any closer. Why? Don't don't fire at me. What do I need to scan? Because the scanners keep going haywire. Okay. Another hundred previous research data. Don't touch me. Um, you're injured. You need medical attention. <laughs> it's too late for that. I made sure of it. Your wounds, they're self-inflicted? The cat... 
I can't go back. I won't. Oh. Hush now, sister. That was a dead. bit silly. They can't take you. We won't let them. You sound like him. So confident. So sure. You mean Axel? He saved me. He gave me a chance to live. And die on my own terms. We need to find him, Thordia. She's almost... Yeah, okay. She's gone. Goodbye, Toldi. Ishare, brave one. Um, last words were of Aksul. And we're back to square one, yeah. No closer to Aksul. Her devotion to him surprised me. I don't think anyone affiliated with the Roka will help us. The only other person who could reach him is the Moshai. I was hoping to keep her out of this. She's always had a blind spot when it comes to Aksul. Come on, let's go. Yeah, so because we rescued the Moshai first, we can now go wait for Charles to set up a meeting. Okay, so that's fine. Um, there's another container I can open with a bit of stuff. And the Rokar datapad. Um, I'm gonna read that. My family died screaming on Vold. I left everyone at our camp that morning to find a passage through the crevice. We were only a day's march to the safety of Tech Chicks. I remember feeling hopeful that we might survive our ordeal, and then I smelled burning flesh. I ran toward the smoke knowing I was already too late. The cat left my family's ch charred remains in a humbled, a jumbled heap. But I could still make out faces twisted in agony. My parents, my brothers and sisters, my husband and our children, all gone. I had never felt so powerless. I scattered their ashes as tears froze against my skin. And then I ran for Tetchix, where I met Axel. Okay, so she had a very, very sad life, to be honest. Um, with that done, I'm gonna take a little break. So when we get back, we're gonna go uh, on Vetra's loyalty mission, which is also here on Havarl. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, well, I'd, I'd hope to see you next time. Goodbye.